Hello teacher mentors, welcome back. We understand that the number of devices available varies from school to school. We also understand that each teacher and each school could have very different preferences. So we want you and your teachers to be aware of the different ways that Khan Academy can be integrated into the classroom and your syllabus based on their circumstances and preferences. In Khan for Educators Beginners course for teachers, we have shared the different implementation models available to them. Teachers can choose the model that works best for their class and students. As a mentor teacher, you work directly with your te school teachers. So it will be important that you are also aware of these implementation models. Only then you will be able to best support them. Before we begin, we again invite you to wear your teacher hat. Now let's understand the different implementation models. In this model, all the three steps happen in the classroom. Now let's say you're teaching your class. You can teach a topic, introduce the concepts to students as per your plan or syllabus. In case you have a projector or a television screen in your classroom, you can also use a Khan Academy video to teach the topic. Once you've taught the concept to students, you can assign specific exercises from Khan Academy to students to check their understanding. Students log into their Khan Academy account, take time in class to practice the exercises. Many teachers conduct this class in the school's computer lab so that students can practice using the computers available in the lab. In case there are fewer devices than students, you can actually pair your students and have them use Khan Academy in rotation. We recommend that you allot at least two math periods in a week for teaching using Khan Academy. This will ensure that each of your students gets at least 30 minutes of practice on Khan Academy each week. In this module, you conduct your class as you normally do. You teach a topic in your classroom, you have students practice the exercise in the textbooks. Here, you use Khan Academy as a homework resource. You assign Khan Academy content to students as homework. Students complete the assignment at home and master the exercises before they come to class. You then review the scores of the students on your dashboard to understand the topics and areas where students need more support. You can then reteach or clarify doubts in your next class. We know that not all students have access to device at home. So in this model, it would be useful for students who do not have access to devices at home if they're given additional access to school computer labs so that they too can practice the content assigned by you. It is not necessary to pick one of these two models that we've seen so far. In fact, we recommend combining Model 2 with Model 1 of Teach, Assign and Practice. Many teachers are not aware that Khan Academy is an amazing tool for remediation and can be used for revision prior to an exam. As teachers, it is our responsibility to ensure that the entire class is progressing. However, a big challenge that we face is that our students have different learning levels. Here's how Khan Academy can help. We can assign content on Khan Academy as per the learning needs of individual students. Then, once a week, students can work on their assigned topics to fill the gaps in their understanding. Similarly, for revision, we can assign a mix of new and older skills and, or exercises so that students are constantly reviewing old topics while also learning new ones. Meanwhile, as a teacher, you will continue to receive regular progress reports on the platform and on your dashboard. This strategy is especially effective when students are preparing for unit tests, summative assessments, annual exams and so on. These are some ways Khan Academy can be used and implemented by teachers. There may be many other ways as well. As a mentor teacher, you have a very important role to play to support your teachers in choosing a model that works best for them and their students. In the next video, we will talk about the resources required for each of these models and how you can support your teachers in implementing them.